Greetings. I am Legacy Moon, and this is how you wear your hair when you have no edges. <laughs> no, really. This is a True Crime and Mysteries. Welcome back, current subscribers, new subscribers, not yet subscribers, and those of you who are here for the very first time. Today, we are going to review and react to the love story of Ernest L. Williams and Sonia Durham. You see, there is this, um, I don't know, there's what actually happened and then the fairy tale version that she tells. I mean, she's all over the place with how they met. So what I've done is I've taken the phone calls from prisons. I've taken snippets from different places and I put them all together. Now I'm going to tell you, I had this done last week at the beginning of last week. I was so worn out from listening to Sonia that I just, I just left it alone. I just couldn't. And I didn't even watch the, the phone calls that were released Last week, I didn't even watch them until I watched the person that I watch who reviews calls. And that's when I heard them because I was just exhausted from Sonia. But let's get into these phone calls. You guys, if, if you are uh, already subscribed to me, you know how I do this. We go through and I play and I kind of interrupt. We listen to these calls and, you know, we'll go from there. And of course, I tell you, you know, the date of each call so that if you want to go back and listen to the call in its entirety over at Phone Calls from Prison's house, you can certainly do that. So let's get into it. Before we get started, I just want to say, you know, I just always live to prove um, Sonia's a liar. Now, if you can remember way back when all of this started and we first started listening to calls, Sonia talked to Nesto about how Mickey Howard called her up and wanted her to come to LA. They were going to open up a restaurant, but Sonia didn't want to stay with Mickey Howard because she's crazy. You know, that whole fairy tale. Well, Mickey Howard lives in New Jersey and has for the past couple of years. So um, I doubt that she would move all the way to California just to open up a restaurant because as we speak, she still lives in New Jersey. Yeah, I, yeah, I was thinking about your ass today. And I was just like, oh, I'm just, oh, I did not want to be here, but I'm here and it's all your fault because I told well, I don't you. Know what that tell, tell me what that means. Tell me what that means. I don't know what that oh means. Oh, my God. Isn't this like listening to two um, maybe middle school kids? Because uh, I don't even want to say high school. This sounds so middle schoolish. Oh, my God. Do you understand? I have never been I don't. I don't. All right, well, let me explain something to you about yeah, me. Yeah, do that. I got time. <laughs> I, would be, I would be so good with keeping my shit locked and just, like one point where I don't have to deal emotionally with nobody, right? Where if you... You know, I find it hard to believe that Sonya keeps it on lock. I just don't buy that. In my life, in my life if you... Ouch. I'm faded this thing? Whoa, Um, I'm not faded. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never whined or cried or missed or none of that shit. Bye. See you later, you know? Um, but damn, I'm all mostly fucked up here. What is that about? Oh, why is that though? I mean, I'm trying to figure why. What you saying? Just say what you're gonna say. Can you imagine being faded over Nesto of all people? I just don't see it. His talking alone is enough to turn me off. But anyway. Hey. What I'm saying is, I don't. Because you could be around the bush. Uh no, I'm not. That's my email. <laughs> I have to confirm your email. Did I confirm? Man, it's just a big. I'm trying to put some money on your account. Um, this is some shit. Confirm my account. 
She's just like Sylvia, can't stay on task. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm stressing this, the situation on two levels. Listen, I'm stressing the fact, the Come on. I'm stressing the fact that you're locked up already. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Um, and then, so when you're going through it, I'm going through it. Because, you know, I'm going through it. So, and then on top of that, what the fuck? Oh, God. Do y'all go through it over your friends like that? Because they give my fucking nerves with this shit. Um, yeah, the push. You have to confirm. We send an email. There she is, um, not on task. Yeah, and then, um, I think because how this situation came about, that we were friends, and, um, you know, I just didn't really have, because it was, like, I was able to stop myself because I would just avoid you. When I was just still myself falling and getting all emotionally caught up, I would just, like, avoid you and be like, oh, I'm good now, I'm good. You know, um, as long as I don't really see him, you know, because he's talking every day, so as long as I don't see him, I'm good. I can keep the distance, emotional distance from him, you know what I'm saying, because you got that situation. So it was like... She refers to him being married as having a situation. Can you imagine? I mean, the nerve. You know, don't, like, get off. Remember that conference we had on the bus? And I was like, we cannot. Because this shit is just, you know, not free agent. So, now, my, my, this is fair for us all. You get what I'm saying, right? But you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, uh, no, because you keep talking in riddles, like you say I talk. So I'm trying to get you to say it. <laughs> uh, okay, so, bluntly said, um, I'm open. I don't like that shit. I don't okay. like that. It's, 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 it's very I'm trying scary. to say, what, what shit you talking about you don't want? You can keep talking in riddles. Just say what you got to say. Just put on Alicia Keys and move on. This it just took this conversation took so long to get out. I'm saying it. I just thought I said it. Okay, what what shit you don't want? That's what I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I've never been here before. I've always since I was seventeen, eighteen years old, have been able to not be here, and I'm here, and it's very nervous. In other words, she's falling deeply in love with him. You've been. And I'm saying to you, I've been in a relationship, but I've always had my guard up. I've never ever, whenever I had to break up with somebody or they broke up with me, I was just never say it. I was just next. Once to the next situation, it was just nothing to me. Okay. You know? What's the problem here? If she's able to let go of people like that, how is it that she married a man and it only lasted four months and he had to track her down for a few years just to get a divorce if she lets go? I'm just saying. Oh, man, I feel like, I mean, like how I, I, when I was fucking 17, I didn't know no better and I, I slept up and, you know, openly liked somebody. And, um, it's just... You had a baby. Very... No. Okay. No. I, I had my guard up with that motherfucker. He broke up before I even had the baby. That's what's going on with his ass. <laughs> 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 and I date people. They always say I don't have any feelings and I'm cold, right? Because I'm able to just... I believe that. Not cry about it, not think about it, not mourn it. Just be like, bye. Don't call me. I won't call you. We're... She does not have the capacity capacity of empathy or, or anything. She's so, I don't know if it has anything to do with her not being properly nurtured. I don't, I really can't understand it. But she just, she just reminds me of someone who has no soul whatsoever. We're good. I'm not mad. He cheated, whatever he did, you know what I'm saying? We're good, you know? Right, right, right. Because I knew me, and I thought, I always thought, to have somebody's um, um, 
feeling is a lot of responsibility. Okay. You know, if you have a power... I, I, Come on. I need you to come on with this. I need you to come on. Me too. Come on. Come on now. Get it out. You have the power to emotionally affect me. I'm not comfortable with that because I've never, I ain't, ever, ever. But I ain't got no power over you. So we oh. I mean, and look how he's playing with her. Uh, he thinks it's cute for now. I ain't got no power over you. I ain't got no power. I just keep surreal. That's it. Yes, Listen, it's, it's, yeah, you have, you have the ability to affect me emotionally, is what I'm saying. I don't know how, I just, I just keep it real. If we stop talking, listen, if we stop talking tomorrow, I will be very perfect. I will be very prepped. I will be like, I don't want to eat, I don't want to go to work. She is, would be broken up if she stopped talking to her friend. Remember, this is her friend, she says. That type of shit. That's uh, not me. I don't do that. Okay, well, guess what? That ain't gonna happen because guess what? Uh, I'm gonna be in your life for a long time. Get ready for that shit. So, so shit. Uh -huh. No, no, you need to just want to say that because see, you be around the bitch up and come on with mine. See, I'm not She is having this conversation and he is encouraging it by talking about how long they're going to be together together her with Shirley Strawberry's husband it is going to I'm saying it like it's terrifying but it ain't terrifying it's okay it's okay to have somebody uh, I ain't gonna let you down you can believe that shit I'm sure <laughs> I doubt it I, I will be at ease. Okay. The thing of it is, if you're ever, if you're always honest and respectful, I can deal with you. Yeah, I'm gonna. Because what I don't know, that. or I get surprised on some shit, where well, it's all your problem. No, all you gotta do is. How do you ask a married man to be honest with you and, I guess, faithful? I mean, how does that work? I don't know how it works. Yeah, I'm a tea. I don't give a damn how rough it is, because it ain't that, man. Hey, the motherfuckers ain't dead, their legs ain't getting cut off, you ain't blind. That's bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some basic life shit, that ain't nothing. It's going to be yes or no, fuck it. Because that's, right. you know, yeah, we passed that, uh, that, that uh, trying to scheme a scam and trying to figure out if you're going to keep these folks on your side, if you tell them the truth or not. I passed that shit. If you're with it, you ain't. That's, that's basically it. That's the only way you're going to be cut and dry. So you ain't got to right. worry about that shit. So the answer that you asked, you asked me uh, two weeks ago, well, you know, I can't be doing all the green. Where's your family at? What you got? No. You, so you, no, I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I, I, I didn't say I can't be. I said, why am I? Why aren't they helping me? Why they leave me for dead? That's what I was saying. Not saying I don't want the pressure. I don't mind the pressure. I'm just saying you got to hope with other people. Yeah, but they're not leaving. Now, see, this is, once again, October 2022. And we're already talking about how much she's helping him and how his family is not involved. This man that she... Is just friends with. Even if they, I'm a loner, and I guess you didn't listen. You didn't listen to what I was saying. You're a loner, but you still like I don't fuck with my listen, man, I got, every I got, day. I got, I got, I got five dedicated people. That is it. I don't, I'm a, I don't really do business with everybody because they lie, they steal, they cheat, they for themselves. You no, know, even family members. I, I don't do all. They lie, they steal, they cheat. Did this man just describe himself and we didn't catch it? They laugh in your um, face, get in your face. I can't, that part I can't handle it. And I get really, really crazy when I get like that. Because loyalty is everything. And these people don't have loyalty at all no more. This ain't the mm -hmm. same. They ain't cut like, like when you grow up. There's nothing like that no more. Everything is fairy tale. Mm -hmm. And I can't do fairy tale too long. And, I, and I'm like, right. I, I could see past it in five minutes. That's my problem. <laughs> Straight up. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, I got kids. They, we cool and everything. But when it's time, I, I get down, 
We don't, we don't, uh, I don't even put that together. I tried that a long time ago. 10, 15 years ago. That's, that's not the MO. So I don't even try to throw shit on people who can't handle that. Or they won't, uh, you know, I'm gonna give you them. There's so many people love to have a mother like you. There's so many people out here, but you might not get to talk about Cool, John, beautiful, fucking age. You see what I'm saying? She would love yeah. that shit. I said the mama broke down in a wheelchair. Or fat as a motherfucker eating pork chop and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's still their mama. But they were just yeah, a fine know. mama out here when I was locked up. Wish I had that fine mama come and see me. You that fine mama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like your son can't see that right now. Because he, he ain't into that. Ain't no pressure. Hit him like that. You, you know what I'm saying? That's enough of that call. Now, that first call that I played was titled uh what was it titled oh it's um it's a sonia and ernesto call and it's from october um 2022 and the title of it is they talk about their relationship so it's like nesto and sonia talk about their relationship now i'm gonna play just a little piece of a call this call is actually the very first call uh, and it's titled The Woman in Florida. And um, I just want to play this one little part uh, for you to listen to. Okay. Ask all you want to ask. All you want to ask. I, I gotta ask this question. I feel weird asking for some well, reason. Don't tell you, why it take you so long? Because I feel weird asking you. What, what's your weird asking? Ain't nothing to ask. How many females do you currently talk to outside of the, the one that I know you talk to? Oh, that's it. You talking about me and you talking every day? Just period, yeah. That's it, you. That's it. I don't really talk to nobody. I'm a loner. You, you ain't got to believe it. You can call my son, you see that? I don't fuck with everybody. Now, if they're good friends or besties, as they try to say, why would she be asking how many people does he talk to outside of the one she knows of? And what she meant by that was Shirley. So that's what she wanted to know. She wanted to know, did he talk to any other females? Why would you ask that of your best friend? Now we're going to get into another October 2022 call where we are yet again talking about our relationship. The question was, what do I... What what qualities do I like in a guy? Yeah, what qualities you got? We're going to go all the way in details. I need to hear details. <laughs> I, I need to hear details. Details? Oh, my God. I thought, didn't I write this down in, in one of the letters? You did. By the way, I also, some additional information about this call is that it is part 11. Because when... She, Phone calls from prison first started doing the calls. She had each one. It was in different parts. And this happens to be part 11 titled Ernesto Questions Sonia. Just details. Okay, I'll say I like a positive person, a great personality. Oh, gosh. It might be funny, but just not like boring or whatever is the quality. Um... Well, well, how does somebody be funny? Because you laugh all the time. I don't laugh all the time. Yeah, I'm always happy. It's just a lot of happiness. I can't tell. When I hear from you, it's not so much as you told it. She just asked me that because her boyfriend tells jokes all the time. And she was like, does that still tell jokes? I said, no. He just says things that just, you know. Sometimes when he talks, it, it tickles me because he's so country. But I said, he doesn't tell jokes. <laughs> he doesn't tell jokes. I'm not a comedian, but um, uh, but you're not boring. Um, yeah, let's, so, cause you, you don't been around a lot of individual men. So. I've been around a lot of people, and I, I know a lot of people. I don't deal with a lot of people, but I do know a lot of people, you know. That I'm pretty sure she gets around. Um, not paid, you know what I'm saying? But what interests me in a person is... Um, Cause I'm trying to figure yeah. out how we got stuck. These are the questions I'm asking. That's because you kept calling me every day. And then, so this is what it is. And I told you this. This is how this happened. Because, you know, I 
I have friends and I have had, I have a lot of male friends, but we don't speak every single day. We went in differently. Because you know when people meet, they always, okay, so if there's an immediate attraction, they automatically go straight to, we about to mess around. You get me? So, Not so me. Do it off rip, like, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the whole basis was just a friendship, and it was just no pressure. Because, you know, we would just talk in the morning, and now be that. Like, you go on with your day and do you. I was just going to my day and do me. Why was he you know, calling this woman every morning? Remember that conversation of, you know, me getting mad about something stupid or you. You know what I'm saying? Having those type of conversations, which happens eventually if you get emotionally involved. And then it's going to be some conversations because people okay, get ma'am. Shit. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Can you kiss? See, he was tired of hearing that mumbo-jumbo, just like I am. Straight to it, please. Oh, okay. It was straight to it. You, oh, you want to go back to the, the core of the question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me dealing with everybody and why do I feel like, why am I my, um, telling you? Yeah, I'm trying to, I want to know that part. Not just me, the man. I want to hear that part. That's just what I want to hear. That, that part. Well, men in general, you speaking? The what do man, I like, men in man, general? The, yeah, the man you're dealing with right now. Yeah, I got all that part. You you done told me that. I, I, I understand that part. I'm trying to get deeper. That's what I'm trying to get deeper. This married man, man is trying to get you. deeper. So what do you want to know? Why do I deal with you? Yeah, why, why do you... Yeah, why why you chosen that? Let's hear Okay, so so this whole scenario happened by accident. I mean, because you know, you We got that part. We got that So come on. Right. So, you have to pull your motherfucking teeth. This, this is what That's what I'm saying. I didn't have my guard up with you. I wasn't thinking I wasn't protecting myself. But you were. Was, so you were. I wasn't with you. Yes, this is the thing were. because yes, I didn't no, because remember back in April, right? Okay, so I was, I was, every time I would feel like, okay, I would see you. Right? Back in so April. I'm at you and then I'll leave, and then I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about him, and oh my God, I'm, I'm starting to like him like a little too much. Then I would just like back off. I thought y'all was I'm friends. Like, I feel it. So this time when I told you, when you came over that time in April, when I told you I wasn't going to see you, I lied and said I was going to, but I april so he got locked up in july so he was somewhere seeing her in april i'm going to assume that that was one of her trips to atlanta so let's listen further but i plan on ducking you again right but she was like oh, i'm coming over there and i was like fuck <laughs> you know and then you came <laughs> over and then when you came over, you was always just holding me. It was all, I was like, oh, my God, what is he doing to me? What the fuck is he doing to me? And then you was all, I see you. He was holding her. So when he went over to see her in April, he was holding her, and it was just doing something to her. I, I was like, what? I don't ever see him two days in a row. What are you talking about? That's why I text you. I don't, I'm not trying to fall. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you trying to come see me two days in a fucking row? Are you crazy? And he was just like, he, 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 see you tonight. I'm like, oh, God, this man about to have me fucked up out here. Oh. Okay. It would have happened sooner, but I was avoiding you because I felt that shit. No. You know, this man is a low-down, dirty man. Just low-down and dirty. Like, no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Can't, you know? He's not available. I can't do that to myself, you know? And well, so, well, and plus, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be, like, that girl that, that starts bitching and, and, you know what I'm saying? Because now I'm in my feelings. So I didn't ever want to be that girl. But, but that, that, but that, that, okay, that woman, not that girl, that woman. That woman that you're talking about. Not that girl, because I don't look at you as a girl. I look at you as a woman. Let's get that mm. straight. First mm. of all. Uh, hmm. Interesting that he distinguished that, you know, because he's not very bright. So I find it interesting that he points that particular point out to her. Uh, let's get straight to the core. The core is this here. 
Yeah, you know, somebody gonna make sure you, you, you. Somebody like you for who you are. If you mm-hmm. have one leg, two leg, five leg, one arm, ten teeth, it's just the person who you who you can stomach. Say, so I can stomach you. That's why you didn't get that part. You just could not get. You really couldn't figure it out. Okay, it was your mm-hmm. chemistry from the good mm-hmm. to the bad. You know? Chemistry. You don't mm-hmm. find. It. Okay. No, yeah. Yeah, you're a very attractive woman. I know you can get any fucking body, man or woman, you want on this planet. I disagree. <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, though. Any, any human being that you to desire to have, that's not a problem for you. I know that right. for a fact. Okay. Right. All right, now, I don't worry about none of that part. I'm just not a person who's not a jealous person like that. You know, now, all jokes aside... I'm not, I don't think she's an ugly person, but the way that she carries herself, expresses herself, and her behaviors, all of that together really makes her ugly. Let me ask you this question. Have you been so so openly in love? Because jealousy oh, oh, yeah, comes yeah, with... Yeah, 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 I've done that before. Yeah, I think jealousy comes with... It's, it's two different things. One is the insecurity sometimes people have, and then sometimes you're not insecure, but that person has the power to hurt you, so you have that fear, and it's and that's another form of jealousy. It's not just, you know, you're, you're an insecure person, but it's just that person has the ability to crush uh, you emotionally. Can, can, yes, I have been to that stage, but not no, I'm a stalker bitch, and I'm, I'm jealous as... No, I ain't well, no, you're not going to act out like that. I'm just saying, no, not, not everybody act out on it, but some people do still have that 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 jealousy only because no. they are so emotionally gone with that person. Okay, it's not no. so much as how they feel about okay. themselves. It's just that person, how they well, feel about that, that person. And I, got, and I got that part. But I, yeah. I try to kiss myself. Mm-hmm. I, I try to kiss myself, and I'm going to tell the person, hey, man, why you ain't calling? Because this is why I'm not calling you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I can't mm-hmm. fuck with you no more, I don't want to hurt myself, hurt you, hurt everybody, you know. Hurt. Now, how come he didn't take this approach with Shirley? If he felt like he was so in love with Sonya, why didn't he take that approach with Shirley and say, you know, look, this is not working between us. I think we should end it. He didn't do that. Why not? Other than the fact that he needed her to pay for things. But still, this is, I, you know... I tried to go back and figure out how long these two knew each other. And I'm putting it back to at least 2019. And I don't understand in all this time and all the communications that the two of them had, why he couldn't just leave his wife for that chicken head. Well, other people or oh, one person that don't really give a fuck about me. But I'm mm-hmm. feeling no kind of way. So, have I been in that bed before? Absolutely, I have. Have I called myself? Yep, sure did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if I came in, I'm going to tell you straight up. Now, you fuck somebody, just let me know. Don't let the world let me know. Let me know. Shit, I'm cool mm-hmm. with Because I know you can't put no pants a motherfucker out here. I know that. Too bad. Mm-hmm. I know. So, he would be okay if someone cheated on him. Or at least that's what it sounds like he's saying to me. Well, that too. But mm-hmm. every thing, because I ain't normal. So, I can't act like I'm normal, because I'm not. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, believe no that. Thinking wise, and just, just like, fuck it. But, uh, yeah, I've been through that before. But we're going to get back on the situation what we're talking about. I want to know what turns you on about a man. What? I want to know what turns you on sexually about a man. What makes you so in, 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 uh, indulgent to a man? Anytime I, but it's just it's supposed to, I want to hear what you like. Okay, so for me. Okay, I have had throughout the years and, and currently now a lot of male friends. We have never had this type of conversation me personally what i like about what turns me on for a guy i i have to like him as a person and as a visual it's a combination you can't just be a nice looking guy and then you open your mouth and it's just like oh my god <laughs> so it's a combination of a personality and what he looks like 
because I don't like um, unattractive or I don't like a guy that doesn't have a nice body. I'm I'm not gonna keep myself up just to date somebody who look a hot mess. So and then so a lot a lot of people say I, I move like a man and I probably do sometimes. You know when it comes to certain things. I don't know. Yes, she is a very big masculine energy. I see no femininity in her whatsoever. Whatever. But I just know how I am. And <laughs> I, I do date for looks. It is what it is for me. It's, it's very visual. And if you don't look the part, you ain't, ain't touching me. I she dates you for looks. Me at all. Period. I don't care if it's been 10 years since I had some dick. Don't touch me. I, I'm not attracted to you. So, so it starts off with the visual. You know the nerve. The nerve. Definitely. And then I do try to figure out if he opens his mouth, how stupid is he? You know, or if he makes me laugh or if he just... She's got to be kidding me. She has got to be kidding me. He needs to shut up because he don't talk about much or nothing and he has nothing interesting to say, you know? He just, what? Like, you know, blonde. Or I think it's got a motivating conversation. It's just, you know, it's interesting. It can be about anything. It can be about drive-by, you know, whatever. But You know, I didn't listen to this whole thing. Um, as it's going, I can remember it. But when I picked this call out to play, I only listened to like the first five minutes of it. And I knew that I was going to use it, and I was going to be using pretty much all of it. So I, I didn't listen. And wow, the things that she is saying that she looks for. But he just has an energy about him, you know? So, um, so how long is that because you had the energy? When you come on me, when you're not talking about me, don't play. You're not talking about yeah. me. But so when the last time you had your fire and desire? Um, I'm so, so I dated, um, mm -hmm. like I dated a doctor here. And he like three years. Lies. And that was great because he was a very nice looking Jewish guy. Um, Lies. All that looking good. He's fat now, but before he was all about his body and just, you know, he just had a little swag bottom or whatever. But he was just a little too emotionally needy and that was something I couldn't deal with. Now, I can't tell you how I know this, but I do know she is lying. That is not true. I couldn't. He's crying a lot. You know, and I just couldn't deal with that. Like, you know, it's just too emotional for me. And um, he, every every day he felt the need to be up under me. And I was like, I need to miss you. I, I can't just be up under somebody. Like Lies. It's a lot. Is it, is it reversing on you now? Mm -hmm. Is it reversing on you now? Do you need that need and do other people need it? Okay, so how I am with that, I feel, it, it just depends. Like, I feel like to miss, I don't like, you know, I feel like to miss a person. I, I, I feel like I don't like to be smothered. I don't think that's going to ever change about me, being smothered. Um, I was talking to Alfie about this today. I was like, I feel like I'm lonely. And and then she was like, what? I was like, I know. I, and, I, and I was like, I know why. I said, because, you know, I like a person that's not. You know what? She... Not only does she not know how to be affectionate, she can't, she wants the attention, but she doesn't know how to receive it. I'm just, I, ju I just realized that. Not around. And so I'm still in it, you know? I was like, because before this, I was okay with being by myself. I didn't feel it. It's, it's when you are into somebody and they're not around then you feel lonely but just me being alone I'm, I'm okay with that I don't feel the need that oh I have to have or you know oh I'm getting I'm 50 I need to be married I don't I don't have those thoughts it's just that I'm emotionally and you know caught up and that's where I'm feeling it I don't know. Like, it's just a personality thing it's a, it's a physical and a personality thing uh -huh. you know I don't really care I don't really look at um, finances um, <laughs> ever because I'm type of person I can build a person if I need to you know, I'm just, um, open to learning and being motivated but I've never ever really cared you know about that oh I'm stop lying like, drug issues and drinking excessive drinking and drugging and you know just like just hot mess you know you're not a hot mess then you know this from a person who dates drug dealers 
and whose house was shot up by she can tell that lie if she wants to that it was because they broke up and he came by he wanted to see her one last time she told that lie on one of those places she interviewed I think it was that uh I can't think of that woman's name but she wasn't she, oh gosh put something about classy women sassy women I, I don't know I don't remember but yeah Okay, so you got the mental there. Now, what, let me hear about the sexual part. Let me hear that part. Okay, so I don't like a straight, like, I don't, I never did toys until your ass did that shit a couple times. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold <laughs> up. Now, here again, I have male friends. I have never, number one, had sex with them, and number two, let them use toys on me but apparently uh she does and that drove her crazy and that's why she is madly in love with the dude now never did toys never i never did toys ever 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 i never did toys ever in life you know horny i could always call somebody you know what i'm saying like i'm shooting up to get some on call dick if i need some you know but um, as of lately, because I don't know what the fuck you did to me, um, I'm just doing shit I ain't, I ain't had no business doing. Or I had never. Did y'all catch that? Now, she said she never used toys before because if she really feels like she needs some, she's always got some on call dick. I don't know if y'all caught that. You know, you might have to rewind. But yeah, that's what she said. Never done okay, before. What, so what is weird. Because so I'm too old to say that. But I don't say that. You're too old to do what? To say I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. I've got a lot I've never done with your ass. I got a lot of firsts with you, which is weird. But I do. You'd be surprised. Miss on things. And then you try to tell a person. It's like you don't now that's why she's so sprung on him. Because she did and had a lot of first times and first things with him. See, now it's all becoming clear. I don't kind of want to guide people too much, but sometimes it's okay if you, if you do, but it, it's sometimes exhausting. But, the guy, um, huh? yeah, on how to be with you. you know? uh, how, how to please you, that's what you're saying. Oh, on, on a lot of levels, not just physical. I never had to tell you, because you're right on point with all that shit. So, um, A plus on that, hey. Point <laughs> again. <laughs> A plus on that. Okay, so if I had to grade you on everything, like you're just pretty much winning. You're on a roll, basically, on some shit. Like your conversation is great. He's on a roll, so he's not. He's not a. He's beyond an A. He is on a roll in her book. To talk about anything, and it's cool. We could talk like friends. We could talk like boys. We could talk like messing around type shit. We never went in it with the intentions of making it something, you know? That's it just true, happened to be that's whatever true, it is. That's true. Yeah, it's just been a comfortable. Like when, when we first went out, like how did you look and how did I look? When nobody dressed up and all, you know, seeing things I barely had makeup on, it's, you know, just a little, very little. So you tell me you don't want to get you some toys. Is that what you're telling me? I didn't get any. I'm saying I've never, ever had any encounters with them. But, you know, you let like, hear that shit a couple of times. And you'll be out like, uh-uh, don't put that on me. I don't do that. Oh, I can't I tell. You, you didn't have no strength yet. I can't at all. tell either, right? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, my mm. gosh. But they friends. You got to be in what you into that with that person. That you got to be into that person and make that person feel the way they want to be felt like. That's all it is. Yeah, right. Everybody don't have that great chemistry. You gotta have that great bone chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. I really actually want to throw up after hearing this. I go on the back and take your clothes off. <laughs> go ahead. I'm like, what is this thing to me? We're having a great conversation about I got shot. I go on the back and take clothes Oh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. I rewound this because we need to hear that again. We could talk like messing around type shit. We never went in it with the intentions of making it something, you know? 
be true, happy to be whatever true, it is. That's true. Yeah, it's just been a comfortable. Like when when we first went out, like how did you look and how did I look? When well, nobody dressed up and all. Okay, it's getting ready to come up, and I'm not gonna say anything. Just we gonna let this play and listen. So you tell me you don't want to get you some toys. Is that what you telling me? I didn't get any. I'm saying I've never ever had any encounters with them. But you know, you let said that shit a couple times, and you'll be like, uh-uh, I don't put that on me. I don't do that. Oh, I can't. Oh, I lied. Did you hear her? She said he used those on her a couple of times. And remember, she tried to tell us they only had sex one time. Thank you, either, right? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. You got to be into that with that person. You got to be into that person and make that person feel the way they want to be felt like. That's all it is. Yeah, right. Everybody don't have that great chemistry. You got to have that great bone chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you want to back and take your clothes off. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll shake this one. Ah, I was like, what? You just say to me? We're having a straight conversation about how I got shot. He just, I, I want to back and take clothes off. This is not the doctor's office. What did you just say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you told me straight up what you went to. You told me that. And I could. All right. Go in the back and take your clothes off. And she was just as giddy. Oh, my goodness. You told and my ass, like, well, we ain't fucking tonight, but we can fuck tomorrow. You better take me out to eat first. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, why was I so bold on that day? Like, that was really, like, out cold. Most girls be like, yeah, it's too cold. I'm like, no, because I do want to fuck you, but we ain't fucking tonight. Because <laughs> <laughs> you funny. do look good. I do like you. I do Go like ahead. what I see. But- so, for the very first meeting, she decided he wasn't getting any, but she had already made up her mind the next day he would. Uh we haven't had, we, the conversation wasn't a romantic conversation. It was a strictly, like, thug life type shit conversation. So it was like, you can't do jump from that to the bed and we just met. That's what it was. It was just not an intimate situation. To just jump straight into, okay, I feel like fucking you now. Well, I mean, I did, but then I was like, no, I didn't. Just go out tomorrow and pretend like it's like, you know, a nice time. And then, you know, you can go ahead and do it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. You know, patience is a virtue. That's what- her friend. This is the approach she took with her friend after meeting up with him the second time. Life- yeah, we waited a day. <laughs> <laughs> we waited a day. All right. We waited a day. They waited a day. No regrets. Okay. No regrets. That's good. That's a wonderful thing. That's that's Mm -hmm. wonderful. I mean, oh yeah. Just gotta get you on where you're going and get me where I'm going, so we know we're going together. But you're not going anywhere. Can you put in your clothes now? Oh, I'm exactly my size. That I, I think I'm a little. Oh well, that's about the end of that. But that was wasn't that an interesting? Ooh. Wasn't that an interesting call? It's, I like to, that's why I like to go back and pick things out from calls, especially earlier calls, because, you know, I'm actually, because of everything that has gone on thus far, I can look at this in a different light and pick out different things and get to know what really makes her tick. So I can kind of see she's she's somebody who I just think grew up. I don't know what order she is. Like, I don't know what number child she is, but I can say I, I just feel like she did not get the nurturing that she should have gotten. She has absolutely no empathy and I can't see where. She doesn't have very good judgment, and her logic and reasoning doesn't seem to be at a level that it should be at for her age. So this was this was kind of eye-opening. Now, I have several more calls, and this is long. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to break this up into... Um, probably three parts 
So this is going to be part one. And I will work on part two maybe later this evening or tomorrow. So I hope that this was a nice review for you going down the Sonia memory lane. And after hearing those two calls, is there anything that you noticed that you didn't notice before? Or, you know, what do you think about Sonia and how she is approaching this relationship in 2024 versus how whipped she was in 2022. I thank you for listening. Once again, I am Legacy Moon. If you are not subscribed to this channel, you might want to go on up there and hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you know when I drop my next video. And if you do not mind, I wish that you would just give this video a thumbs up so that I can get my video in the beat of the algorithm. Thumb, thumb, 